What's up, Pacer Nation? This is Coach Jay. Today we're going to talk about whether or not Ben Simmons would be a good fit with the Indiana Pacers. Uh, let me just start by saying this is not going to be a video talking up and you know speculating whether or not the Pacers will trade for Ben Simmons. Um, that that's not that's not my forte. I am not in the Pacers front office. I don't know anybody in the Pacers front office. Um, I'm not Kevin Pritchard. I, I'm not in the decision-making process. And anybody who says they have sources in the who are involved in the decision-making process um, are lying. I mean, anybody who says that they know what's going on with the Pacers is, expo in my opinion, is exposing themselves um, as a fraud. I think... Um, you know, even the best Pacers beat writers, the people who are, even people who have worked for the organization, you know, guys that I've had on my show, like Mark Monteith, they would tell you, anybody who says they know what's going on in the room with Kevin Pritchard and Rick Carlisle, that nobody knows what's going on. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to speculate as to whether or not the Pacers will or won't make a deal there because I'm just not in the decision-making process. However, I will make uh, uh, I will speculate as to whether or not he would be a good fit here. Uh, the short answer to that is I don't really know. Um, it's I'm sort of 50-50 on it because I think he'd be a perfect fit here defensively. I think the Pacers have a lot of the same personnel uh, strengths defensively that the Sixers have. Uh, they have an excellent shot blocker in Miles Turner, just like the Sixers do with Embiid. They have a lot of length on the perimeter. They really don't have any guards other than TJ McConnell, who are shorter than 6'4". You know, so they can harass the wings with every bit as much intensity as the Sixers do, and they have just as much shot blocking behind him. Offensively, it's a different story. I think... I think Rick Carlisle is better suited to cope to utilize Ben Simmons than maybe a, than Doc Rivers is, and it's nothing against Doc Rivers. They just they're just different. I'm not saying Rick's a better coach than Doc. I'm just saying that Rick is a more innovative offensive coach than Doc. Doc is much more of a defensive specialist. That's typically why he has good offensive coaches on his staff. Um. Um, in a few minutes, I'm going to go over some film breakdowns and show you where Ben Simmons might fit in the Pacers' offense, where he might be utilized, where, you know, where how Rick Carlisle can potentially get the most out of him if he arrives here. And, uh, defensively, I don't think it's a question. I think he'd be a perfect fit here. I think I think the Pacers could totally benefit from having a first-team all-defensive player on this roster, especially a perimeter player. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get started and show you where Ben Simmons would fit in Rick Carlisle's system with the Indiana Pacers. Let's begin with the, with the Pacers' transition offense, courtesy of the 2021 Pacers Summer League team, coached by Pacers assistant Mike Weinar. The Pacers like to use drag screens off missed shots and forced turnovers, as you see here. Picture Ben Simmons as the ball as the primary ball handler, and Domas Sabonis and Miles Turner as the screeners. When the Pacers have both big men in the game, look for the Pacers to set double drag ball screens, with one big man going high, the other going low. Typically, Miles Turner would be the high man because of his perimeter shooting ability. When teams extend the, their ball pressure defensively, look for the Pacers to use step-up ball screens from their big men. Miles Turner will get a lot of open threes and lobs off of this play. Now we're going to go into some of the Pacers' half-court sets. This is a play the Pacers call Stack. Kiefer Sykes brings it up, step up screen, screen the screener, open three. Look again. 
I want you to picture Ben Simmons playing Sykes' position and Malcolm Brogdon as the shooter coming off the pin down. Now we're going to go into the Pacers' main flow offense known as Chicago Action. This is an offense that both the Warriors and the Miami Heat have used to great playoff success. The offense is initiated with a dribble handoff. The five man is basically a point center. Easy lob to the rim. I think Simmons would be best utilized as the point center in this position. However, the Pacers already have Domas Sabonis who can play that role to perfection. Chicago action only works if the other four players on the floor, aside from the point center, are capable of knocking down the three-point shot at a high level. The Pacers also like to run a set called Chin, where the five-man steps up, the feeder, and the weak side wing execute a split cut, and the five-man has the option to create for them or himself. Like with Chicago action, the only place in this set where I see Ben Simmons being a good fit is at the five spot. However, the Pacers already have Domas Sabonis to play that same role. Well, there you have it, Pacer Nation. Ben Sim Simmons, good fit in Indiana? Not sure. I I'm about 50-50 on it because, again, I think he would be an absolute dynamite fit here defensively. I think, especially if you can get him without giving up Malcolm Brogdon on the perimeter, the Pacers might have the best perimeter defense personnel in the Eastern Conference. There's not going to be very many teams that have as the ability to harass the wings, as well as both Malcolm Brogdon and Ben Simmons. However, his fit is suspect at best offensively because the only role where he would fit um, offensively with this team is already filled by Domas Sabonis, who has proven that he can average tw 20 and 12 with ease and within this system might even average closer to a triple-double. Um, and Sabonis has already proven to be a 35% three-point shooter over the years and is capable of spreading the floor much better than Ben Simmons. So, you know, you know, you guys decide. Le leave a comment in, in the comment section if telling me whether or not you think he's a good fit. Um, I'm 50-50 on it. I think defensively he's perfect. Offensively, not so much. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions for future Pacers content, please leave in the please leave them in the comment section. Uh, please follow me on Twitter at Coach J Pacers. Uh, this is Coach J signing off.